Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to crochet a simple 5 petal coaster. So friends, for this project, I am using a 4 millimeter crochet hook and 3 ply cotton yarn. First of all, wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. And make a magic ring with the help of crochet hook which is basically a loose slip knot to start your first row make chain 3 chain 3 is counted as our double crochet stitch now wrap the yarn go into the magic ring pull the yarn pull through first two loops and then pull through second two loops to make a second double crochet stitch Again repeat the same pattern, wrap the yarn, go into the magic ring, pull the yarn, pull through first two loops and then through second two loops to make a third double crochet stitch. Again repeat the same pattern and make double crochet four and complete total 15 double crochet stitches by repeating the same pattern. So friends, I have completed 15 double crochet stitches. Now pull this starting yarn tail. To form a ring. And go into this. First chain 3. And make a slip stitch. With the other color yarn. If you want to change the yarn color. Now for the second row, again make chain 3, chain 3 is counted as our first double crochet stitch. Now go into the same stitch again and make another increased double crochet stitch. So 2 stitches into 1 stitch. Now go into the second double crochet stitch and make two double crochet stitch increase again double crochet one and double crochet two into the same stitch now go into the third stitch and again make two double crochet stitch increase double crochet one and double crochet two into the same stitch now repeat this same pattern of two double crochet into one stitch till the uh, till the end of the row and weave these extra yarn ends with the help of needle and cut the extra yarn so friends i have completed my second row we will have 30 double crochet stitches in our second row now go into the top of chain 3 and make a slip stitch to finish your second row now for the third row make chain 1 wrap the yarn go into the same stitch pull the yarn and pull through all three loops to make a half double crochet stitch now wrap the yarn again go into the second double crochet stitch sorry go into the second double crochet stitch pull the yarn and pull through all three loops again to make a second half double crochet stitch after making two half double crochet stitches go into the third double crochet stitch pull the yarn pull through two loops and then pull through two loops to make a double crochet stitch here again go into the same stitch and make a double crochet two into the same stitch now go into the next and again make two double crochet stitch increase double crochet one 
and double crochet two now go into the next and again make double crochet one and double crochet two we have total of six double crochet stitches into three stitches this is our first petal now make three half double crochet stitches into next three stitches this is our second half double crochet stitch now go into the third and make half double crochet stitch three so this is the pattern after making three half double crochet stitches make your second petal by making two double crochet stitches into first stitch now go into the second stitch and again make two double crochet stitches here now go into the third one and again make two double crochet stitches increase into this third stitch again so this is our second petal after completing six double crochet stitches go into the next and make half double crochet one go into the next and make half double crochet two go into the next and make half double crochet stitch three so this is very simple and easy pattern repeat this pattern of petals till the end of the row so after completing this is our last half double crochet stitch now go into this second half double crochet stitch pull the yarn and pull, pull through this loop to make a slip stitch to finish this third row now for the fourth row again make chain one go into the same stitch and make one half double crochet stitch now go into the second and make half double crochet sorry half double crochet stitch two after making two half double crochet stitches now go into this double crochet stitch here and make a double crochet stitch to this double crochet stitch after making one double crochet stitch now go into the second double crochet stitch and make two double crochet stitch increase double crochet one and double crochet two now go into the next and make two double crochet stitch increase again one and two go into the next and again make two double crochet stitch increase third time go into the next and make two double crochet increase fourth time so we have total of 1 2 3 4 double crochet stitch increase now go into this last double crochet stitch and make one double crochet stitch here as we have done in the start so we have total of 10 double crochet stitches for one petal now go into this first half double crochet stitch and make half double crochet stitch go into the next and make half double crochet stitch 2 go into the next and make half double crochet stitch 3 simply make 3 half double crochet stitches into 3 half double crochet stitches and now repeat the same pattern for second petal as we have done for the first petal into first double crochet stitch make 1 double crochet stitch go into the second and make 2 double crochet stitch increase and again into the third two double crochet stitch increase into the fourth two double crochet stitch increase into the fifth two double crochet stitch increase and into the sixth one double crochet stitch
total of 10 double crochet stitches after completing second petal now again make three half double crochet stitches into next three stitches now repeat this pattern till the end of the row so friends i have completed you can add more rows if you want and you can also use this simple five petal flower for decoration purpose with this extra yarn and with the help of needle to some backside stitches to secure your work you can also add this flower to your bag so use this flower in any project which you want this is a simple and beginner friendly flower coaster pattern so must try it and if you have any query please ask in the comment section So must try it, like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.